But everybody, if you watched my previous video on the big con heist, we're just going to be jumping straight into it. So straight away, I'm picking the worst gunman, the worst driver, and the best hacker, just to get the most time in the vault. For the weapon, I'm picking the Micro SMG. It doesn't matter, it's complete preference. You can take the Micro if you like. And for the car, I'm using the Sentinel Classic, as I think that's the best out of all the four. Also, one of them has like a bulletproof back window as well, so you lose a little bit less cash. Now, for the extra preps, what I'd recommend doing for the extra prep is just the level one and two access cards. You don't need to do any of the others. Although, as you can see, I've done the power drills and the security intel. Now, I've only done the security intel as that's what you get permanently done if you do the casino missions for Agatha and the power drills are just because we're going to get an extra bit of time in the vault because we have painting so we'll pick them up pretty quickly so we can get an extra little bit of cash from the little deposit boxes. So we're just going to start it, it doesn't matter where your arcade is, we're just going to be getting in the car and driving over to the casino. If you cram your car into this corner, the passengers will get warped out so they don't have to do an animation. It's kind of a speedrunning strat, but we're not really doing this for any speed reason unless you're doing the elite challenge. Even then, it's only going to save you a couple of seconds. But it doesn't matter because you're just going to enter the building anyway. As soon as you get into the building, I wouldn't recommend shooting the uh, like EMP box thing just yet. I would communicate with the person you're playing with to take out these two guys, then shoot the EMP box thing with a stun gun, and then run in and shoot that camera just for later and just to make sure it doesn't see those two bodies that you just got then. Then there'll be two guys in the security room. You want to make your teammate aware of the other one and then take them both out at the same time as well. If you're interested in where the other body was, he was just the other side of this desk here you're going to run past. You now is a good time to grab the extra vault if you want to grab the extra vault but you should wait for the security guy to start walking around in front of the elevator then just run out and whack him one then you can get the extra vault when he's gone and then you're good i'm just going to run downstairs because of the elevator sometimes being a bit buggy so we're going to take the stairs but you want to go down the first bit and then wait for the guy to come up the top of the stairs and then whack him in the face and then go down to the next bit and there'll be a camera to avoid now if you don't have a gun in your hands the camera will take longer to detect you so you can run back quicker and you just want to make sure that it's looking the other way when you run past my friend did run through because you do get like four seconds or two seconds or something in the camera vision it's in between two and four i'd recommend just trying to avoid it if you can and then when you get out the door you're just going to run out and smack these two guys as well then my teammate is going to run down to the end of the corridor just to get the other guard to spawn with the thing he's going to just slowly walk our way forward so just stay back either side and run out and whack him when he gets close he can go down the other side as well that's why my teammate was just there then we're going to push up into the main room with the security guys and there's only three guys in this room and there's a th fourth guy in the extra side room there. So just take those two guys out there and as you can see my teammate is just going to hug the wall and slowly creep up to this guy and then whack him as well and take him out stealthily making sure he doesn't thing it. And also there are cameras to be aware of in this room sweeping around and covering most of the area as well. We're just going to push over to the security room here and take out the fourth guy just so he doesn't see us through that window just in case. And then you're going to want to swipe your cards and make your way through the man trap. Now for tips for the vault laser, what I'd recommend doing is taking it all the way up and then letting it drop down and then going back. Because if you keep it at the top, at the top head temperature, it's going to be risky of hitting the thing. So just let it drop and you'll be able to hold it down longer, go up through more discs faster. As you can see, my teammate finished well before me, but I'm just going to tell him it was the excuse of trying to get the gameplay for it. Anyway, once you cut through all your six discs, you'll be into the vault and able to steal your stuff. I'd recommend doing all the hacks first so that as soon as all the hacks are done, you can just go and pick up everything you can. Now for the hacks, I would recommend going on Google and looking up a diamond a casino fingerprint matchup thing so it will show you all the fingerprints and all the possible matchups that you get with it so you can just look at that and then flick between which ones you've done as you can see we've picked up all the paintings with 40 seconds left in the vault so then you can either get your power drills or i guess you could pick a lower hacker if you want to get a little bit more cut from percentage now as soon as we leave the man trap there'll be a bunch of enemies spawn so just be careful they don't see you i'm going to have my friend run around and whack this guy as well you can do it too just make sure to avoid the cameras when you're running around this room as you can see i had to tuck against the wall and wait a couple seconds and then also be careful of this camera here in the door then i'm just going to run down to the door my friend ran down the other way and as you can see there are two enemies at the end of the elevator where they were before uh, so my friend is just going to turn around and avoid the camera and then end up coming up the stairs with me leaving those enemies so that we don't have to kill them avoid that camera just as you did on the way down and you should be good to go all the way up now if you saw the big con we went through that doorway but you can't in silent and sneaky as they put a trolley there so you're going to have to go around in front of the elevator and then take a left past the camera and then back through these double doors here and then you'll see a guard walking around just wait for him as soon as he turns around run out and then whack him on the back of the head and then you should be good there'll be a camera at the end of this corridor which you can avoid by just going into this laundry room here and because we took out the camera earlier we don't have to worry about that uh, when we're about to kill this last guy here so if you just wait behind this double door wait for his blip to pick him up a pair on the map then you can run out and hit him and then just shoot the electric box with your stun gun and then you should be good to just run straight through there and get out of the casino and wait for the next bit 
so now we've left the casino. Some people go across the tracks. I'm not gonna recommend going across the tracks because it does take a while and it allows cops more time to get closer to you when you get to a certain point. So we're just gonna run forward and hit this guy here as they can detect us, unlike Big Con, if we, they see us. And then we're gonna wanna just run along this edge here and then shoot the guy that's inside of the uh, biker compound sort of area. I actually end up getting detected by him, so just make sure you kill him without getting detected. Uh, but it's not going to make too much of a difference at this point, as there aren't any more guards that can get you. So we're just going to run in there, uh, depending on where our cars spawn, and run across and through, and there'll be no guards to see us. So it's this green one with the shark livery that has the back window that allows you not to get shot through the back window. And then we're just going to make our way over to the police station, park up against this wall so the driver warps out, and then we're going to climb over the car and make our way through this alleyway and jump up through these ledges here to go get the helicopter. Now, if you got detected before you exited the casino there's a good chance this helicopter won't spawn but if you did not get detected upon leaving the casino and you're in full stealth upon being outside the helicopter should spawn at least there's a very very high chance that it does spawn we're just going to be shooting the gun guys out of the helicopter so they don't shoot us and take our cut but on this ledge you want to be very careful because you can fall off and die uh, so just be very slow there and we're going to make our way over to this air vents here now you can slide over this bit here so just stop when you get there aim your gun and then you can mantle without sliding over then just push up there and then you should be good to just run and get the helicopter and then you're pretty much done with this heist as you can see i'm going to hop in the helicopter we're going to fly away a bit and after a certain point if not getting detected you'll lose them around mount chiliad and then uh, you're done with the heist so thank you for watching hopefully this guide has helped you and hopefully you know how to do this nice and smoothly now if you have please leave a like and subscribe i guess and i'll do more guys like this